I am an echidna warrior. Knuckles started off as a mere side character in the Sonic the Hedgehog universe, but the growing popularity ensured an entire series based on his exploits. The recently released Knuckles spin-off series on Paramount Plus sets up the much-anticipated Sonic the Hedgehog 3, and the response from the fans has been quite positive. The titular protagonist, however, is a unique species, and in this video, we will dive deep into the physiological details of this incredible creature and bring you everything there is to know about the fierce and adorable knuckles. But before we do that, we have a small request. If you enjoy our content, please give this video a massive thumbs up, share it with your friends, and smash that subscribe button with the notification bell turned to all while you're at it. Who is Knuckles and where does his original species come from? Knuckles the Echidna is one of the most popular side characters in the Sonic the Hedgehog universe, and this anthropomorphic alien Echidna warrior comes from Mobius, where he was raised as an honorable warrior among his tribe of Echidnas. His clan was involved in a long-drawn conflict with the Owls for the possession of the Master Emerald, which is a weapon of ultimate power. After his entire species was wiped out, Knuckles remained as the last survivor, and he was forced to leave. Since then, he has been on the lookout for Sonic the Hedgehog across the galaxy because he believed that Sonic was the key to finding the Master Emerald. Even though the narrative initially put him at odds against Sonic, the two even fought together and it was clearly established that Knuckles was far from evil and simply a gallant warrior who was manipulated to misunderstand. My tribe was on the verge of its greatest victory. The last of the Owl Warriors had been located. What are the Echidnas, the amazing creatures behind the development of Knuckles? When the development team was brainstorming ideas for the creation of a suitable rival for Sonic, they looked through numerous animal designs to come up with the right match. Finally, they settled on a unique and rare species, although the final design of Knuckles can be considered to be a mix of various animals. The Echidnas, or the spiny anteaters, and are among the rare mammals that lay eggs. They feed on animals ants and termites, and these medium-sized solitary mammals are covered with coarse hair and spines. The spines serve as a defense mechanism just like hedgehogs and porcupines, and these creatures have short, strong limbs with large claws that enable them to dig deep into the ground. Knuckles not only has some of the primary physical features of the echidnas, but he also has some of their behavioral tendencies. <laughs> What does Knuckles look like? Exploring his basic anatomy. This incredible anthropomorphic echidna has red fur that covers all of his body and a black nose on the peach-colored muzzle. There is a white crescent-shaped patch on his chest, and his amethyst eyes are one of his primary noticeable features. Knuckles also has seven dreadlock-like spines around his sides and also on the back of his head. The creature has a crooked, medium-sized tail, and he is medium-sized at best if you compare him with similar creatures. Knuckles is roughly half the size of an average human, although he packs quite a punch in his short stature. He probably gets his name from the two pointy and spiked knuckles on each hand, and he can be seen wearing large, white, mitten-like gloves and sock-like cuffs. The colors and costumes when it comes to his appearance have been changed quite a few times, but the overall structure has remained the same over the years. He'll focus on only you, leaving himself open to a flanking maneuver from me. Exploring the bizarre personality of Knuckles, Knuckles has a rather complex personality which stems from how seriously he takes his role. He is proud of his heritage and he takes honor in his warrior identity to such an extent that he proudly aspires to be a force of nature. Knuckles has always been confident of his abilities, and with his incredible powers, it can hardly be called arrogance. In many ways, he is better suited to combat than Sonic, and this often Often makes him look down on Sonic for the latter's inexperience as a warrior. Another noticeable aspect of Knuckles' personality is his determination when it comes to achieving his goals. No matter what the odds are against him, he never lets go of the task and never gives up. Knuckles is also regarded highly for his sense of justice and fairness, and there have been instances where he even helped the enemy because it was the honorable thing to do. The fans also love his brutal honesty, which also means that he can be unapologetically straightforward forward in his words.
words. He often comes across as egotistical for this reason, and ends up offending people. If only a fictional character wouldn't be so relatable. Lastly, Knuckles is somewhat socially awkward, and it wouldn't be a far stretch to call him a loner in some ways. He always fails to adapt to the social customs of Earth and seems to be content with himself. However, this changes in the recently released spin-off series, which explores how Knuckles slowly adapts to the ways of the Earth along with his companion Wade Whipple. He finally seems to accept Earth as a place where he can stay instead of solely focusing on watching over the Master Emerald. Is how I roll. How powerful is Knuckles? What makes him an invincible warrior? If you look into the early history of Knuckles, you will find out how he has been groomed and trained over the years. He is the guardian of the Master Emerald, and this massive responsibility also means that he has to be strong enough to undertake the same. One of the qualities of Knuckles that makes him a near-invincible warrior is that he never tires no matter how powerful or overwhelming his opponent may be. Such is the magnitude of his indomitable strength that he can pulverize the biggest of boulders and blast through steel with one of his epic punches. He has been shown to lift objects that are several times his own weight, and he does so effortlessly. His arms and fists are the most powerful parts of his body, and the strength in these arms is the secret behind his superhuman abilities. Hedgehog, you are a brave and noble warrior. Go to your certain death! Is Knuckles as fast as Sonic? During his fights with Sonic, Knuckles has already proved that he can hold his own, but what is further baffling is the fact that Knuckles is almost as fast as the super speed enabled Sonic. Knuckles can reach supersonic speeds while running, and there are times when Knuckles is so fast that after images of himself are created. He can run up walls and ceilings with such incredible speeds, and what makes him even deadlier is his ability to unleash a flurry of punches while he is on the move. However, everything said and done, do remember that Knuckles is almost as fast as Sonic, but still falls short if the two were to participate in a race. His speed and quick agility simply helps him as a warrior, and most of his enemies are easily overwhelmed by the ruthlessness of his attacks. Lord's Emerald Secrets would be ours, but my father stopped me from joining the fight. What anatomical features of Knuckles directly resemble an echidna? As we have discussed already, several physical features and characteristics of Knuckles are quite similar to the echidnas, the creature that inspired the character. There might not be obvious, but these features serve as a great remember about the origins of Knuckles. For instance, Knuckles has spikes on his fists that make him a great burrower just like the echidnas. His movements under the ground are extremely fast, just like the creature, and his climbing skills and heightened sense of smell are all like the echidnas. Last but not the least, Knuckles is just as hardy as the echidnas in the wild, who can hold their own against all kinds of predators. Whoa, you fixed it. I've spent my whole life questioning. How do the Chaos Emeralds empower Knuckles? One of the greatest sources of energy for Knuckles is the way the Chaos Emeralds give him the extra power boost. He can sense any form of energy related to the Chaos Emeralds or the Master Emerald, and he has the ability to track down their signals. There have been several instances where Knuckles harnessed the power of the Chaos Emeralds and became so powerful that his enemies stood no chance. He is the only one in the universe who can tap into the powers of the Master Emerald and control the insane powers as well. This also grants him certain healing abilities that add to his invincible factor. What are some of his major weaknesses? Although Knuckles is a great warrior who is one of his kind and a force to reckon with, there are a few chinks in his armor that can be exploited. For starters, Knuckles is usually extremely stubborn and short-tempered, and these traits have been the reasons behind his downfall on quite a few occasions. He can be easily fooled and manipulated, which is how he was turned against Sonic and often distracted from his mission. Knuckles is not particularly effective around girls because he becomes extremely shy, and his fear of ghosts is perhaps one of his most hilarious weaknesses. Victory. The last of the owl warriors had been located. Soon, long... Can Knuckles reproduce? Knuckles comes from a species that has thrived once upon a time and lived by the thousands. Clearly, they could reproduce, and even though his species is long gone, Knuckles still has the ability to become a father. In the comic books, Julie Sue, a Mobian echidna, has been shown as his love interest. She has also fought by his side, and their rough and tough romance has been the heart of a few story arcs in the comics. Although 
though they haven't had a child together, there are a couple of instances in the comics that hinted at Knuckles having a son. The reproductive process of Knuckles' species is also quite unique, and they lay eggs just like the echidna creatures that inspired the creation of Knuckles. Even he was born from an egg, and if in the future Knuckles is ever shown reproducing canonically, we can expect his offspring to be developed the same way as himself. Power bomb. <laughs> Can Knuckles be killed? The Guardian of Chaos Emeralds is undeniably powerful, but he is not immortal. In fact, in the comics, Knuckles was once killed by his own hidden chaos powers. This episode by Archie Comics dealt with the adventures of Knuckles away from Sonic, and he started to undergo a steady transformation. His usual red fur turned green just like a Chaos Emerald, and he started being overcome by chaos energy. It was revealed that these powers were dormant within Knuckles from his birth, and it all started when Knuckles' egg was exposed by his father to a Chaos Emerald. His father also got the vision of his son's future death, but all efforts to prevent the inevitable proved to be futile. When Knuckles was a teenager, he was hooked to a machine that was designed to drain his excess powers, but the idea failed and he was almost pushed to insanity. Later in the story arc, Knuckles succumbed to the excessive energy within him, and even though he was brought back to life in future storylines, it proved that Knuckles was not an immortal and he could die. However, it should also be considered that Knuckles Knuckles is just as hardy as one can get, and even in the recently released Knuckles series, we can see him being bashed around brutally without sustaining any serious damage. Although he can theoretically be killed, it will take an extreme superhuman effort to get the job done. We would love to hear your opinion on the show in the comments below, and also tell us which aspects of the unique anatomy of Knuckles amazed you the most. The owls were fools.